now, 30 years after it premiered, The Great Escape is still one of the most popular films of all time. Nothing makes Steve McQueen more of a hero than that famous motorcycle chase. McQueen and motorcycle dealer Bud Eakins were already racing buddies when McQueen was cast in The Great Escape. One day he come in and says, um, I'd like to go to Germany with me and double me riding a motorcycle. I says, yeah, sure, Steve. Didn't think anything of it. And he says, uh, calls up one day and says, uh, you got a suit? And I says, yeah. And he says, well, get it on. We're going to meet the director. So we go down and we meet John Sturgis and uh, met John. And John looks at me and nods his head, yeah. Which means I would be a good double for him. And uh, it happened. In two weeks we were in Munich. Eakins and McQueen eventually worked out the details of the chase, which was not in the original script. It began at the checkpoint when Hiltz is challenged by a German officer. Hey, 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 hey. Steve's ability on a motorcycle was enormous. If you look real closely, a lot of the Germans chasing Steve are Steve. We would just do the old Western trick of having Steve take over the hill, jump the hill, run down the gully, and then he'd run and change uniforms and put on goggles and a helmet, and he would be the German chasing him. He was a good rider. He was quick, but he'd have to go do his movies uh, and not race for three to six months. But uh, he'd always take a bike with him, but he was quick, you know? For many years, audiences assumed that Steve McQueen actually jumped the wire on the Swiss border. But insurance regulations forced him to let Bud Eakins be the daredevil. Sturgis asked me one day, he says, uh, if we had a fence, could you jump over it? And I says, well, yeah. And uh, he says, well, how high of a fence could you jump over? And we got it where the wheels of the motorcycle were 12 feet off the ground and jumping about 65 feet. And so, come time to do it, and the adrenaline got going, and I hit it about 60 miles an hour. And it really went up in the air, and I can remember being in the air, and there was dead silence. I mean, there was a few hundred people there, you know, all the extras and everything. And when I was in the air, it seemed like I was up there forever, and it was dead silence. Nothing. Just going through the wind, and boom, it hit the ground, and it shook, and I almost fell off. Editor Ferris Webster was nominated for an Oscar for cutting sequences like this, in which it appears that the Queen is making the jump. That's McQueen. That's Eakins. That's McQueen. Finally, that's Eakins.